Hello, my name is Warren Ruziak. I'm a senior technical evangelist with Atlassian. Today, I'm going to present a short demo of how to deploy a code change to a production environment using Atlassian Open DevOps. This video accompanies the Atlassian Open DevOps Quick Start Guides. And you can follow those guides to set up a similar environment um, as a sandbox where you can test this kind of software and get to know the tools and features available to you. Today, we're gonna to demonstrate how to push a code change from our terminal out to our development environments and then to our production environments using a combination of Jira and GitHub. Uh, this demonstration is part of our Atlassian Quick Start Guides. And when we start this, um, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Jira and we're gonna create a new Jira issue. So we're gonna make a small change to a piece of software called Submit Image, which is part of our image labeler application. The important piece here is this uh, Jira issue ID. With this Jira issue ID, um, we're going to use this in our branch names and our commit messages. And this is how um, the Atlassian GitHub uh, Jira plugin um, sends information back and forth so that we can track the work we've done in our CLI tools and our code base uh, in Jira. So we're going to jump over to the terminal now and get started with the code change. So we take a look at this repository. Uh, we have a branch called mainline. We're going to do a new branch. As we can see, we now have a branch named after the Jira issue ID. And we're going to make a quick change here. This is a trivial change just to uh, illustrate the point. So we take out some irrelevant text with all our normal Git process. The important thing here is to put this uh, Jira issue ID into the commit message. Again, this is how the integration between Jira and GitHub um, tracks all of this. Finally, you're going to push. Do a remote branch, which we're going to create with this push called IAM15. Now the push is done, we can jump over to GitHub. And we can see, if we refresh, that we just had a recent push. We can take a look at our actions that are running. And we see we have an action running for um, this branch. This action does a few things. It's going to run our unit tests. It's going to deploy to US West 1. It's going to run some integration tests in US West 1. It's going to deploy to US East 2. And finally, it's going to run integration tests in US East 2. Once this is done, we can um, create a pull request and merge this into production, a mainline branch. And then we'll see another workflow kick off. We take a quick look. We have two um, GitHub Actions files. In this one, um, basically, we're executing this for all branches except mainline. We can see this on lines four and five here. And what this file does is runs our unit tests and does our deployments and integrations. So you can build out a set of steps um, in these files and have different conditions for when they trigger. We take a look at the other one production step, we see that the trigger is different. In this case, it uh, triggers on pull requests into the mainline branch. So you can have different triggers for your different GitHub actions. Now we're just going to wait for this uh, pipeline to commit or complete, and then we'll move on. The integration test step for US West 1 is completed. So this step um, pulls system tests down from another repository and then executes those system tests against the US West 1 region. Our application is deployed across five regions. Um, we have a test region in US West 1, a staging or QA region in US East 2, and then three production regions in US West 2, US East 1, and CA Central 1. Once this integration test step completes and succeeds, 
we'll be able to move on to creating a pull request. In the meantime, let's take a look at our Jira issue and see the updates the integration has pushed out. So if we take a look in our Jira issue, specifically in this details tab, uh, under development, we see we have some information. We have a branch, a commit, and a build that's incomplete. So if we drill in here, um, we can take a look and we can see that we have a link to the repository and it tells us what specific branch was created. We can even create a pull request from here if we wanted to. We can see that there's been a single commit. There are no pull requests created at this time. A build was done in uh, staging that is not completed yet. And there have been no successful deployments because that tab doesn't have any integrations with GitHub. All right, now that we see our integration tests have completed successfully in US East 2, we can move on to deploying to uh, production. So to do that, we're gonna create a pull request. So we're gonna create a new pull request. We're gonna merge in from our branch IM15. We can review the changes that are made here and we can click create pull request. Some description. And we can merge our pull request. Once we've merged successfully, we're going to delete our branch. You don't have to do that, it's an option. And we're going to jump back into actions. And we are now seeing a deployment. However, this is a different deployment. This is using our deploy prod um, GitHub action file because the trigger in this file was detected. So we have deployed US West 2 and then integration test. Then we have deployed to US East 1 and the integration test, and then finally deployed to CA Central 1 and integration test. The actions will not uh, continue past a failed integration test. So if these integration tests fail, we're not going to run the next um, deployment. This lets us basically have some confidence that we can push changes um, kind of quickly and that they'll get caught um, before they have a chance to break anything. At worst, we're going to have one broken region, and hopefully, if our regions are set up similarly, the failures will have been caught in the test and staging regions before they even got pushed to production. Now that our deployments are all done <clears throat> and we're simply running the last set of integration tests, let's take a jump back over to Jira and take a look at the updates that are made now. Now we can see we have a merge pull request, another build, a couple commits, and a branch. So two commits, one of which was the merge. Branch has been deleted, but there was a branch there when we did this the first time for the initial push. We've had a single pull request, which has been merged. <clears throat> we have a build in test staging, and we have a build in production that have run. And we're done, thank you. Okay, that concludes our demo for today. Uh, please read the Atlassian Quick Start Guides on Atlassian Open DevOps, uh, so you can learn how to set up your own sandbox environment and get to know the tools and capabilities that we have here. Thank you.